Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to Remnant from the Ashes. So, today we're going to be starting a playthrough of this wonderful Souls-like. Oh man, jeez, you already making me look like freaking Sam, not even Sam Jackson. Um, making me look like Denzel Washington <laughs> up in this, Jesus Christ. Alright, hmm, what are the different heads? Oh. See, now that's, that's not really, like, okay-ish, when you have the different heads, but it's not like, the head style themselves are different. Oh, wait, no, no, it is, it is different head styles, it's just, because I was like, why are the skin tones, the skin tones are changing. Hmm, alright, let me look at the faces themselves, then. I think I'm still going to go for that. I'm probably gonna keep that skin. Yeah, no, it it does change the skin tone. That's weird. That's weird. All right, hairstyle. That is about. Yeah, th this is about my hairstyle. Just a little. Eh. I mean, eh, eh, eh. yeah, this is probably best. All right, we ain't going full beard. That's for sure. Good lord, I look like the villain from Ruby. Oh, we can't. I don't think we're doing that. Mm, hair color. What is it on white? Good lord, it actually is. Why is it darker on white than it is gray? What? That makes no sense. All right. Also, I don't like how very see-through it is. I do like the curls. They did do that quite dynamically, but the front looks like <laughs> it just looks like leaves. All right. Let's get. Can I get like? Eh. I suppose that is my. I colored. Ooh, that's a little too, too much. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna keep this. So scars. What kind of scars do we want? Can I get no scar? I guess this is no scar. I assume. So we get the you know Anakin Harry Potter eye scar across the face, big old across the face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm Dang, that one looks like we got just mauled by a tiger. Do we go? Big across the face, or like the small one across the eye. I think we're gonna go small one across the eye. Yeah, let's do small one across the eye. Let's check the voices. This looks like it was important. Well, this looks like it could be useful. I wonder what this. This looks like it could be useful. I wonder what this is. I guess that's good enough. Standard, hardcore. Oh God. Um. Normal, hard, nightmare, apocalypse. What the freaking heck? Jesus. Let's just do normal, not skip the tutorial, since that's what we're going to be playing right now. We're going to be playing most of the game probably on, like, actual... Oh. oh I didn't realize I could do multiple characters. Uh, we're going to be doing the game mostly on my campaign, but we're going to be doing a co-op with a friend. But for now... We gotta play a tutorial, I'm assuming alone, so let's hop in. What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Ah. I do like personalized cutscenes. Sail this sea before you. In search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix. Blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm. The beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face what lurks within. Oh, 
God! It's frozen! When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. And we awake. Hmm. Alright. It feels like this... Like, seems like a game that was a sequel to a previous one. As far as I know, I don't think it was. Session will be joinable after completing the tutorial. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so we have... Our sword. Alt to cra- Alt? Alt?! Oh man, that's weird. Okay, so what's control? It's not run. I figured you'd jump over that. Blood? Wart? Wart? What? Sumables offer temporary aid can be found when the world are purchased from merchants. Automatically equipped once picked up if there are no other consumables in the inventory. Do I want... I guess I'm low on health. Oh, what the... Space is dodge? Well, I guess, yeah, it has to be. No! It's one of those! I heal over time! Ah, shoot. Dang. I knew it couldn't be that. Easy? Well, something seems like it's on the roof. Santa? Santa. That don't look like Santa! What the fuck? Santa don't look so good. <laughs> Dodging and sprinting deplete stamp. Yeah, I figured that. Wait, what? Oh. Go through the open door, Marco! Huh, fire! Okay. Whoop. Alright, alright, alright. So, I do get iframes in this game with dodging, which, always a nice touch. I do love games that do that. Maybe I should have done this with controller. This seems like a controller kind of game. But at the same time, I do like the aiming with this. Ooh. Oh, now you tell- Oh, now you tell me how to do a, a melee attack. Thank you. I needed that. Can I dodge at a sprint? I can't attack at a sprint, it seems. Okay, no, no, I can. Why wouldn't that let me then? Wait. Oh, and it's also for Volt. So, oh, maybe I shouldn't run at that one. Oh, dear lord! Maybe I should run at that one. Yeah. What's up with that? Um, so, anyway, I hear more. Where the heck is more? Hmm? I hear more. What's over here? Is it? Something is clearly over there. Something is obviously over there. Don't like that. Can I not bolt or anything up to, like, that height? Because it sounds like there's something in there. I also am obviously hearing gunshots. From what seems like inside the building to the left of me. What the hell? Yes, thank you. I've noticed that. Come on down. Wait, did I just parry that away? 
Did I literally just smack it away? Or did he just happen to miss me? Can I open any of these? I feel like I should at least be able to climb them if I can. Like, this feels like things I should be able to access, but oddly can't. No, let me go down the stairs. Come on. Work with me. Alright, where's all this gunfire stuff coming from? Guess that would be where. No more bullets! Oh, shoot! Well, time to be a hero. I was uh, swinging a lot faster than that. And definitely could handle this amount of monsters. Speaking of... I can handle it! Let me fight him! Okay, maybe like that extra four more might be a few too many. Oh, it's the clown from Spawn! Never forgive, never surrender! Oh god, they're tiny little buggers! They're like clickers! Oh, come on, throw the rocks at them! Huh? Hang in there. Hurry up, okay. What? Huh? It just skipped their dialogue. I know what they said, but it just skipped it. What's up with that? He's like, hurt. Move it. <laughs> like, I know you're in a hurry, but good lord. Hmm. So basically, I'm in a Souls-like God Eater, but it feels like Destiny. Wait. Hey. Um, if that was your dad outside, I'm really sorry. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. Thanks. I didn't you know. Don't start bleeding again, do you? Um, where am I? Ward 13. It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. Nice at the. I wanted to see you. Dialogue seems like cutscenes. How'd I get oh, here? Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. Makes sense. Makes sense. But they said. They said Mark wasn't coming back. I'm sorry. But he's. Was. Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. Am I taking Mark's place? You're like, that's I'll not see good. You later. Well, stranger in the base. Talk to Commander Ford. December 1968. Oh, Lieutenant Evelyn Cooler, one of the only seven survivors to make it off the atoll. You had to abandon Ward 16, retreat to Central here in Ward 13. Everyone else. Well, they're all dead. Tarsgard, Neville, Green, Parker, Mackenzie, every last one of them is gone. We're the only ones left. Root invade Ward 13 too. There are bodies everywhere. Root and human both. Thankfully, the Root left for some reason. The place is abandoned. Dreamers are gone. That's That's what the Root came for. I don't know how I know that, but I'm certain of it. The Root and the Dreamers are connected somehow. I can feel it. When the Dreamers were killed, the Root no longer had a reason to stay. Captain Ford, commander now, I guess, says we're holding up here while we figure out our next move. He's fixed the crystal so nothing can follow us from the toll. 
and there are only a few physical entrances. Should be defensible for as long as we need it. God, this is the hell of a... <laughs> what? Hell of a... Ha... Hanuka? Okay. April 1969. It's been months now. The ward almost feels normal. We clean the bodies out. There's some doors we still can't get into. Commander Ford is looking forward... Or look... <coughs> Who's looking for survivors, getting them into the ward. He's a brave man. Smart. Not like the bastards who got us into this mess. Thanks to Ford, we survived the first wave of the root invasion. Which is... More than can be said for the rest of the world. Root didn't just come out of the wards. They attacked all over. All at once. No one was really... No one was ready. Armies were overwhelmed. France even tried nukes. Nukes on their own land. Then they went quiet. I'd imagine they would after you nuke your own lands. But hey, that's just me. We've all lost communication with anyone. The city's a war zone. We're surviving, but barely. How long can we do this? Apparently till May? Been having dreams lately. I hear the root. Smell them. Watch them from inside their own herds as they hunt down and slaughter the survivors. When I wake up, I can still fear their joy, their rage. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember who I am where I am. It's freaking me out. We lost so many people today. Took control of a water tower, though. It'll keep us alive, but I keep wondering if it's worth it. So many people died so that we can, what, scrape by until they kill us, too? Commander Ford spoke for the dead. Assured us their sacrifices would not be forgotten. So long as we have breath, he said, we have hope. I wish I could believe that. 2nd of June! Ran across some old letters and journals from the folks who lived here before. They're full of hope, excitement. Andrew, Commander Ford, caught me reading, but I guess he's been reading them too. He said their hope worried him. It was misguided, he said. Just like we were in Ward 16. Just like I am now. Didn't help but snort. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell did he have to be hopeful for? He laughed when I told him. He actually thinks we'll survive. We'll come back from this somehow. Thought he was naive, but his hope isn't is what's keeping us going, isn't it? Kept us alive so far. I must have said as much because he smiled and said we were only alive because of the people like me. People who caught details that he missed and challenged his optimism. That my cynicism made his optimism more real. I'm laughing again, just thinking about it. All the things to be worried about, he's worried about having hope. He thinks of keeping us alive. God, what a man. 12th August. Had another root dream last night. This one's di- How long is this, exactly? Good lord. This is, like, actually longer than I imagined. Huh. <sighs> this one was different. Real. They were waiting for us. In my dream. Near the hotel courtyard where we'd been growing food. I told Ford about it. Thought he'd dismiss it. Huh. <sighs> God knows my CEO did that often enough. But he said it was worth checking out. Good thing, too. Because they were there. They were waiting. They fought them off best. We fought them off because of my dream. Afterwards, I admitted my other dreams to Ford. Said it had been going on for a while. Does that mean he's a dreamer? Does that mean he has foresight? He wanted me to tell the others, so I told the rest of the seven. We'll see what happens, but I think it was the right call. He's a good man, Andrew. I always knew it, but I. He's a good man. 15th of August. Okay. But what I. What would it even look like if I hit the leader of the world? Oh, if I hit on the leader of the world. He doesn't need to know that right now. I'm just trying to survive. Who the hell thinks of dating in a post-apocalyptic hellscape? Are we really having... Uh, <laughs> this is this dude's diary, for real? It's like, today, I'm gonna ask out Mr. President. Screw it, I'm asking him out. <laughs> well, hell. Also, you use that whole page for that? We're gonna have a lot of paper in the apocalypse, you know. It's not like it grows on trees the way it does, but we don't have any trees, so never mind. Well, hell. Turns out my feelings were mutual. Andrew didn't say anything because he was worried about what a relationship might do to a leadership within the ward. Would it look like favoritism? Would it affect how the others saw me? What about when we argued? Started using a thousand questions. Until I shut him up. As I realized, I was shout shutting him up. That was the point. No matter how risky it might be, love is exactly what makes surviving worth the trouble. Besides, 
We have a goddamn common foe out there. It's not like we'll disagree on that. 1st of January, 1971. Ah, two years later. Holy hell, I forgot about this old thing. Guess you can say I've been distracted. Andrew and I got married last month, and today, I'm pregnant. I haven't told Andrew yet. I want to keep it to myself a little longer. Hard to believe there's a life inside me. A new person who didn't exist before. It's Andrew's idea. I thought he was crazy for even bringing it up. Who would raise a child in a creep show of an earth? Him and his damn optimism. But he's right. Children are the only future we have. I don't know what will happen to this little one, or hell, to us. But bring a child into this world that the root are trying to rip away from us feels like rebellion. Feels like hope. God damn. That's not exactly what we re need right now. Okay. Well, that's something. Was that your kid? Was that Mark's kid? I assumed it was Mark's kid because it kind of looked like him, but I wasn't sure and don't want to like stereotype, but... Also weird how after the crash, I'm not at full health, but now I am. Where exactly am I going? Am I going down or am I going this way? I guess I'm going this way. Seems like in here. Also, Commander Ford is her? Hmm. Well, well. Look who's awake. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. Uh, where's my weapon? I'm eh, Commander who are you? Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. Well, I kind of crash here. You haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks you will tell Only weeks. me why you were really out there or we'll let the root have you i don't need to tell you anything lady but i guess no one has been in that tower in a very long time but you've got no chance of getting there in this storm i can just wait Truth is the ward has been cut off we had to block the gates after we dragged you in the root are everywhere. But I can't even just press space here, for okay. I have an idea. Okay. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. I I guess I do owe you. First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. Uh, another way out? Eh. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Easy enough. Get it running, then come back here. Seems easy enough. Nothing around here is easy. Watch your back. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. And yet Go aren't killing with you. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. Hey, you don't know. You do this for us, and I could be like sure Ollie. You get out of here. Oh yeah, great. Thanks. I feel so safe and warm in your hands. Jesus. So apparently, I just gotta get to the reactor on the lower level. I'm guessing you're the person I gotta talk about for the weapon. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. Thanks, Bruce Willis. All right. Yeah. You help me? I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your uh, Strange name. sword mm. was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. Hey. I think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. So I am gonna have to use my fist, is what you're telling me. You're not helping at all. You know that, right? Good lord. Uh, Alright, so who... And where am I meant to go? You picked a hell of a time to visit the ward, friend. 
Hey, friend. The actors just through that door and down the stairs. Keep your wits about you. Well, considering I don't have a weapon, I'm assuming I need to see at least one other person somewhere around here. Where would they be, though? I'm assuming up, considering that is the only other place. Ah, <sighs> good lord. Can't even get beat up and mangled without having to worry. <laughs> you. Keep walking, stranger. You lost? Oh, I... Uh, <laughs> I actually have to do this without a weapon? How being out has everyone on edge. Not to mention all the root out there. I'm actually going to have to do this without a weapon. Oh, great. Just beyond that door. Which door? This one? Literally through this open doorway. Control. Oh, boy. Well, mum's the word. Time to go into this nuclear reactor. Boo! It's me! I rang the thingy. You should hear me coming. Don't say nothing. <laughs> what? Where the hell did you come from? Um, where did you, you really come from? You like freaking from no else wandering around an though. Assassin's Creed game? Uh, you're not. What is that one after four? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill. You? Um, excuse me. First of all, don't even be giving out names. Second of all. What assa- you are from an Assassin's Creed game, I swear to God. Uh... What freaking game are you from, I swear. Syndicate! That's what it was. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. You are literally the girl from Assassin's Creed Syndicate right now. I just gotta say that. Uh, looking for a reactor. That right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? Eh, how hard could it be? <laughs> so you figured you'd just come down here and wing yep, it? Yep, just bang it a few times. You, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. Oh, great! You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. What are you gonna do? Oh, my archetype! Scrapper. Close range combat, shotgun, reaper pistol, scrap hammer. Mmm, doesn't sound like me. Though I do like shotguns. Scrapper is at their best when they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the enemy. Mod hotshot and using ammunition fire. Ooh, that would be nice though. Ex-cultist. Specialized in mid-range coach gun, reaver pistol, scrap hatchet. Controls mid-range with excellent burst damage. Uh, cast area effect heal. It's kind of nice. And then a hunter. Who's definitely me. Hunting rifle, pistol, scrap sword. Uh, excel at marking out targets. Uh, marks enemies allow mark, uh, allowing the hunter to and their teammate to see targets through walls, increase critical hit chance. Hmm. I kind of like that, but what the heck is a coach gun? <coughs> yeah, so it isn't worth taking for just the coach gun. Though I would like to hatch it. I guess I'm gonna have to do hunter. I mean. I do like the fire damage, but I feel like this would be more me. There, that should improve our odds. First, but not the last. Start the reactor. T, what? New item. C, check out your equipment. Okay, that's not bad. I like the sword, I guess. All right, where am I going exactly? You said right above us, but where? Uh, Right mount button. Oh. Get up there and start the reactor. X to toggle weapons. Oh, that's terrible. 
probably just gonna scroll. All right. What is this Fallout? Okay. Uh, Hacker Man, let's go. Uh, you fault logs. Just the running below optimal threshold. High drain reported. Prototype phase in progress. Temperature higher than nomial. Cooling protocol. Okay. Do I need any of this stuff? Dense condensation detected inside component framework. Shifting to emergency standby. Run system tests. Uh, failed, 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 failed. I feel like I shouldn't do this. Considering they all failed. Oh. And should I be going down? Should I be staying up here? Not sure, honestly, of what I should be doing. Like, cause, cause I definitely like it. Hey, stay focused. We're not done yet. No crap. I've noticed that. Bad. Oh shoot! Scrap. Okay. But get back here, god dang it. Shoot, I can't do that! Still with me? Hang in there! Yeah, I'm still with ya. Don't seem to be still with me much. Boom! Bang! Should probably be conserving bullets, no offense. Grab that scrap. Grab that whoop. Nice. Not bad for using the rifle. To be honest, it's a pretty good weapon. It's good when you switch from blade back into gun. But other way around, I can't say the same. It doesn't quite feel as free flowy as I would imagine. Alright. Seriously? Bop. Got you back. Oh god, it's on fire! Oh god, it's on fire! Why is it on fire? Why does the sound just get muffled? We have swords, you know! I get, sure, it might not be the best thing, but like, good lord. Like, it's not like we're, we're defenseless or anything like that. <sighs> there. That should do it. Should? You fought good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. Oh, great. Thank you? Hey! There was scrap where I was! God dang it! I swear, there was scrap here. The heck is all... Eh, nothing. Huh. <sighs> Should I look to see if there's secrets in here? Huh. Hmm. Maybe. I'm just gonna go check in here real quick. Just because I have a feeling I want to make sure there's nothing. I know we're good. So it all it takes is a toggle for everything, it seems. Even for sprint. Which is kind of nice. Does sprinting cause... Oh, it does. Sprint into dodge costs way more 
than just dodge. You never know. Less may turn up. Uh, sure is good to have some light around here. Yeah, but you're using a torch! You got light? You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Huh, I just need to be moving. Uh, I guess my mission is yes. more important. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast when there ain't many words left around here. Or people. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? I'll try. That's the spirit. Uh, here. I want you to have this. Ooh. Dragonheart. can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old fan told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. With that stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it. Are you being so nah? Just thanks for your help. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, Commander Ford, she knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. <laughs> you picked a hell of a time to visit the ward, friend. All right, shoot. Well, that works. Kia! Glad to see you got the reactor running. How'd you know? <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. I guess I didn't put that away. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. He thinks I have a destiny. I want to say both. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. Well, you've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. I'll take well if I, I can. You'll last long out there without help. Well, Come thanks. See Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Why, thank you. All right, now we gotta upgrade equipment with Riggs. Why, hello, hello. I keep thinking space is talk, and it is not. Hey, friend. <laughs> ah, thanks for getting the power back on. No problem! Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Well. Shoot. I mean, basically worthless now with this cool new scrap blade. Alright. Rigs to upgrade your guns and armor. Upgrading your guns and armor is essential to keeping your increasing diff- Okay. So basically this game isn't really um, the type where you'd have to buy new stuff. It's more upgrading the things you have, per se. So max level. Well, that doesn't help much at all then, does it? I suppose I should upgrade. Hard choices. Ah, <sighs> well, I did need that. All right, hey, now that's better. Oh, and uh, take this. Ooh. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Is it? Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. Indeed, don't it? I do like the look of it, though. Now I feel like I'm from Syndicate. Uh, guess Ford ordering me around isn't all that bad. Could you even spare it's supplies? True. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. She is right there. She can literally hear you. Like, right over here. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. Stray? I see how I am. I'm no dog. Jeez. <sighs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Well, I am paying Apparently you. Taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. If 
Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. Why, thank you. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. You all this grumpy. It's the apocalypse. I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. Mm. Let's see what we're dealing with I mean, the here. Lego movie made the apocalypse That's better than this. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping job. You're quite the grump. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what did I get? Ooh, Hunter's Mark. Ah, weapon mods are used to augment the power of your ranged weapons. When equipped, the weapon generates a mod power by inflicting damage on enemy targets. Power meter is full. Press F to activate it. Some mods activate immediately. Others activate an alternate fire for the weapon, allowing you to shoot more powerful projectiles. Mods will be equipped by going to the inventory, selecting wage weapon, hitting X on it. Alright, so C, um, X. Wait a minute, hold up back. You. Freaking unequip that modifier. Marks all targets. No. That. Equip the mod and have that on this, for the love of God. Do I have a slot on this? I suppose not. Hmm. Don't have a ring. Didn't I get... I guess I didn't. Ah! Uh, I thought I got an item. Like, at least, like, equipable. The accessory, I mean. But I suppose not. Up to Ford? See if we can get those sight notes. Hmm. I wonder what they'll be, and how useful they'll actually be to us. You more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. It might be. We can't leave it by might. the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. We did only kill There's like a terminal downstairs in the main room. Ten. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I was thinking. What if it blows us all up? Well, here's hoping it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. How would you not immediately think, hmm, well, this thing might be the suicide bomb that kills us all. Yes! Alright, I guess we go out and see where this thing opens. Uh, where exactly am I supposed to put this in at? Oh. In here, huh? Well! Guess like they said, here's hoping this thing don't blow us all to smithereens. System lock enabled. Huh! <sighs> One data key. Port 13 command control terminal. Log? 
September 69. Wards of the Atoll have been overrun. Use Crystal Escape, but not sure those things could use it too. Shutting it down. Used to be just to be safe. Destroy the connection between us and the Atoll. Don't think you should sleep otherwise. And other ways to travel between wards, but well. The only one alive now with these codes. Should be safe for now. Caution. Tension residence of Ward 13. Do not use the crystal unless absolutely necessary. Crystal attracts the root somehow. It's vital Ward 13 remain hidden from their attention. Unless the root are pounding down the door or something, use a different way out. Root are pounding down the door, try to find me in my office immediately. Diagnostic? Oh. Here's the success. I guess time to initialize! Despite our better judgment. So I'm guessing this is some sort of teleportation crystal that allows us to transport between wards and possibly across this one? Also, did no one bother to just look at the logs? Really something, isn't it? I, I, I read about it, but I never saw it working. And we're going to be sent yes. out there as guinea pigs. Red eye might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. You mentioned Founder? My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there searching. One day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. I feel like do you think he's still alive is a little, yeah, considering her hair color. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen. I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. Hmm. Beta White. Well, I suppose that's all for the tutorial for now. So... I suppose we're going to end this episode here and get into the rest of the game afterwards. So, if you guys like this video, I kind of subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time with more co-op Remnant from the Ashes. Peace.